I'm Sam Jackson. I've been with the city since 2018. My main job is helping to make sure stormwater control measures, we'll talk about those in a moment, are working the way they should. I'm Bill Haley. I've been with the city since 1996. I'm a supervisor to ensure the city is doing all we can to enable the highest quality construction and maintenance of stormwater control measures. Yeah, so real quick about those stormwater control measures or SCMs. They're just a fancy way of talking about those ponds you might see in a new subdivision or that wetland down the street from City Hall surrounded by concrete walls at the South Side Revitalization Apartments. Whenever a developer wants to remove grass or forest, something that naturally absorbs rain, and replace it with roofs or pavement, something that rain runs off of, they're required to put in a stormwater control measure to prevent flooding and keep our natural waterways as clean as possible. We all depend on these stormwater control measures, even though we may never notice they exist. These stormwater control measures that Sam just described need to be taken care of. There are about a thousand of them in Durham. One problem for some of them is the nasty algae that can cover the water surface. Maintenance folks normally manage algae with chemicals, and we want to support them in controlling their algae, but we want clean water. We don't want chemicals flowing out of the stormwater control measures, the ponds and the wetlands, and go into creeks and streams. So the problem was we, we had was that how do we keep track of any chemicals that are going into stormwater ponds without making it too hard on busy maintenance folks who may be using the chemicals as part of their essential maintenance tasks? Idea Star has been just what we needed to get from our idea to refine it into what we wanted to produce. So Idea Star has helped us to refine our statement of the problem and clarify our goals. With the problem understood and the goal in mind, Idea Star has given us the tools to define the journey we are on, to brainstorm who the key stakeholders are and how to get their input and apply it to our idea. Right now, we're at the prototype stage, building an easily accessible and fillable online format that will give us the data we need without overly burdening maintenance professionals. Well, we are currently working with All-Star mentors Shannon Delaney and Sean Dolan, as well as the rest of the Idea Star cohort, to get a prototype developed so that we can test with stakeholders. We imagine there will be some bumps as we try to roll it out. But being part of Idea Starter gives us confidence that we can address those as they come up. Through Idea Starter, you're getting somebody who's already eager to help you and wants to help others and take your idea and run with it. So you get to, to uh, team up with the right people. And so people who want to work with us and, and help us solve some of the problems we have. You know, we want to create a blueprint for these uh, for future ideas and a way to go about this for the rest of our group. And so we see as we're, we're going through this learning process, identifying all these, these key things, we were familiar with some of this stuff, but there's, there's some things that we've, we've learned as, as through these prototypes and stuff. And we realize probably more now than ever how, how important it is to have all the stakeholders and make sure we correct and identify everyone so that everyone's got a voice. And if we want to be long-term successful, we can certainly push something out the door. But will it really be helpful long-term? And we're doing it in a way that's going to be mutual beneficial to everyone including the city.